everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm having pizzas, wings, mozzarella cheese sticks, all that good stuff. So let's dig right in because I'm starving. Just wanted to say thank you so much for 1K. Yay! I appreciate and love every single one of you guys. You guys really push me to still do these videos because um, some days, like today, um, are hard. But the food makes it so much easier and um, talking to you guys, you know, Today is one of those loud days. Um, all right, so right here I have a basically um, white pizza. It's like Alfredo, I believe. And then this one's like a combo, which is my favorite, my go-to pizza. I always grab the all combo. I love everything on my pizzas. And wings, potato wedges, although they do look a little sad and soggy, so we'll see. Mozzarella cheese sticks. Um, I should just call them cheese sticks. I don't know why I call them mozzarella cheese sticks. And um, these are jalapeno poppers and cheese sticks. All right, let's dig into the sad potato wedges because I just want to get these over with. Mmm. They're spicy, which is cool. This is marinara sauce. Yes, I love marinara sauce. Mmm. Mmm. I have to say, not bad. They're just not crispy, is all. Cheese stick. I'm trying to stay calm, but. It's getting very hard. All right. Let's hope that kid shuts the fuck up. Not to be mean <laughs> or anything. Okay, so the white pizza, it has chicken, bacon, um, jalapenos on it. And I've actually had these before, so I was craving it and I felt like it was a perfect time. All right. Mm. Oh my gosh. So freaking good, y'all. I think it's because um, what makes it so so delicious to me is because it's um covered in garlic aioli sauce, and garlic anything is bomb to me. <sighs> Sprite. So I went with a different look today. I don't know if how I'm liking it. I haven't worn liquid lipstick in I think like two years. I don't even touch that stuff because it's so drying. But uh, I wanted to go for something new and I'm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> so to celebrate me hitting 1K, I wanted to just share 10 facts about me so you guys can get to know me. 
I'm pretty sure the ones that have followed me kind of know a lot about me already, but um, I don't think I've ever shared specific facts. Yeah. But let's dig into this jalapeno first, and then we'll go into the first fact. Mmm. Mmm. There's mac and cheese in here. But so so soggy all right so first fact about me i was born in houston texas i don't know that's like i just wanted to share that because everyone seems so surprised when i tell them but maybe because i tell them in cali like they're like what you don't seem like you're from texas and yeah more of like i live in california now and i feel like my personality does reflect being a Californian way more than a Texan, but that's because I moved here when I was about three. So I've been living in Cali since then. All right, so let's try this pizza. Look at that. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to hold my breast, but I still can't. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Second fact, <laughs> I actually wrote these all down early at work. But I knew I was going to forget all of them once I got in front of the camera. So I'm just going to freestyle it, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so I am a lefty. Yes, and I'm actually pretty proud of it. I kind of like saying that. I think it makes me unique. But actually, I wasn't born a lefty. Like, I didn't w wake up. <laughs> I wasn't just born into this world and started doing things to my left. I believe I... um was just, I was doing stuff with my right hand and then my mom, like, she, like, accidentally trained me to start using my left hand. So, the only things I do with my right hand um, is, like, physical stuff, like, throw balls. Yeah, that, <laughs> so just anything physical, it's more on my right. And then everything else is on my left. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <sighs> All right, I need a little break. I have to say that I'm sweating and it's going down to my neck. But I'm not going to complain about it. I just want to let y'all know in case you see me like a little flustered. <laughs> now to the third fact. What is my third fact? Um, I mean, by day, I am a licensed vocational nurse. I do love it. I um, care for older patients with diabetes and cerebral palsy. These are mini pizzas, but I remember the last time I had these, I could barely finish it. It's like, these are so packed and loaded that they get you filled up really easily. So it's great for the price. Fourth fact, I think I wrote about my tattoos. 
I counted, I think, eight, but I might have to recount them. Because I don't know if you count my little finger tats, like, singly or as one. I usually just count them as one because it was one session, but... One, two, three. I have one behind my ear, so four. And then my arm, five, six. I forgot about this one earlier. <laughs> eight on my back and one on my foot nine so nine i have nine tattoos and <laughs> if you guys are ever interested in what i got and the story and when i got them i can do a <laughs> i can do another separate video on them i feel like that'll be fun to talk about i've actually um had questions but i wanted to save it for a video and just tell you guys in person rather than over comments oh, so itchy All right, so fifth fact. What is my fifth fact? Um, I am a very spiritual person. I'm very into astrology. So, and I think I've been spiritual for about two years now, but I didn't really get into it heavily until like a year ago, like into meditation and all that. And um, <laughs> I'm itchy. And yeah. So I just want to um, let everyone know who is into astrology that I am an Aries sun and a Gemini moon and a Virgo rising. So yeah, my sun and moon signs make me kind of like <laughs> my mind and thoughts are always all over the place. And I like I'm never really certain about how I feel. So <laughs> Mm. I'm going to go for another tea stick. I wish those pulled so bad. Like, mm, that's one of the greatest feelings in life, I feel like, to me. <laughs> All right, let's go on to my sixth fact. What is my sixth fact? I had so much in my head earlier, but I actually did find myself like struggling to pick out stuff to tell you guys. <laughs> I guess my sixth one would be I am a, a huge gym rat. You, if you go to my local gym, you'll catch me there like five times, five days out of the week, maybe even six if I like need to push out some stress or tension out of me. So um, I don't really, my life is basically incomplete without it. So yeah, with all the gyms reopening, I know there's a lot of judgment on half of the people and there's the other half that is like me who have been itching to go and I have to say I will go. But yeah, spare your judgment on me, please. I just, I need it. And yeah, I've been lifting. Um, I basically lift. I started about four years ago, four and a half or so. So yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so dirty right now. Mm mm mm. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have noticed I have not eaten any crust yet. I am not a crust eater. I've never been, never will be. So, and I'm just counting how many I've eaten already. I've had, I have a, a piece of pizza stuck in my throat. Um, I mean five. Five slices. Not bad, not bad. So what number are we on? Seven. Okay. So my seventh fact. What was it? 
<laughs> I'm having trouble. I should have like wrote down the questions that you guys have had before. Oh, okay. This one I've had a lot of um, my ethnicity, basically. I'm surprised I, that a lot of people can't tell, but um, at the same time, I guess I'm not surprised. I kind of be looking different depending how I do my makeup too. So I am Vietnamese and a quarter Chinese. Yeah, so my dad is half Chinese. That is me. That is what I am. <gasps> All right, I am starting to feel it. I haven't even touched these because I feel like this platter is like disappointing me and it's not, it's no one's fault, so. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm really trying to stay calm today. Like that is um, my main goal for this week because I've been really struggling with my patience lately. I don't know if it's just, it's just everything I feel like. All right, so let's try this out. I'm gonna have to dip it in ranch. I just have a feeling. <laughs> okay, now I don't want to shove this whole thing in my mouth. Mmm. Juicy. <laughs> I don't know where the bones are at, though. I know it's more satisfying when I stick that whole thing in my mouth, but I don't think I can today because there's like no bone. I already took out the bone. Mm. Mochi, come help clean. Come help. <laughs> He's tired today. Okay, so my eighth fact. Why do I feel like I had so much more just saved? Or like I they can just come spewing out my mouth um, my favorite food to eat since I mean that's pretty relatable um, is basically Japanese food I'm I just freaking love Japanese food especially sushi I'm sure you guys know that by now and then the secondly would be ramen I love those two things so much mmm mm-hmm I am getting full, you guys. I don't know if I want to go through all of this. Well, I want to finish up all the facts about me. Okay. I feel like my stomach has shrunk since I last did my mukbang, and I only did once. I only did one last week because my lips were healing. They're almost fully healed, but not like completely. I don't know if you guys can tell, but. Yeah, I kind of am surprised I filmed that video last week. My lips were huge, like they were freaking so swollen and I had the balls to just do it. <laughs> I felt like I looked kind of ridiculous, so. But sometimes you just gotta do it. So, <laughs> all right, my ninth fact. Um, <laughs> what is my ninth fact? Oh, I guess, um, a lot of people ask me how old I am. I am 25 years old. I just went, <laughs> 20. I just turned 25 in April. So, yeah. I guess I do look like my age, but when I don't have makeup on, I be looking like supposedly I look be looking 18. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but. Mm. Oh my gosh. I 
I think I'm just gonna end it here and give you my final and last fact about me. Um, I guess you can always end the fact with um, one of your goals for the rest of the year. I love he I love hearing other people's goals too. So um, basically, I really need to learn true patience. Like that is one of my biggest goal that's like my, one of my main goals just because I feel like impatience drives my energy crazy and I just like be spending my energy on just you know being stressed out for no reason and it's hard because Aries and Gemini's are really impatient and I have both of them and yeah I just be I don't honk on when I'm driving but I'm just like <gasps> I have road rage I don't I can't walk behind slow people I can't wait for like any lines so I need to fix that and then also I really want to get monetized off YouTube and I'm on the way there thanks to you guys and those are the two main ones I don't want to I do monthly goals every month and um, so those I knock out pretty easily but those are the two like biggest ones so yeah so if you guys oh and I would love to hear your guys goals for the rest of the year I know like this year has been so wacky and off but it's great to set goals no matter what happens. So if you guys can just let me know what yours are and yeah. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and got to know me more. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Also turn on push notifications and I'll see you next time. Peace.